Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire Service. Rachel Rose joins us from Scranton Prep. And uh, big news for you. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that next level for you. Where are you headed? So I just recently, as, as of yesterday, I committed to the University of South Carolina Upstate. Well, congratulations. Uh, a friend we know well, uh, Becky Burke uh, from Northeastern Pennsylvania, played at Abington mm-hmm. Heights. Uh, went on to a, a pretty nice college career as she's coaching. And uh, let's talk a little bit about that connection, uh, a young lady who who may know what it takes to, to be at that level and now, of course, knows that there's a hardworking young lady here in northeastern Pennsylvania that's pretty darn hungry and wants to take her game to the next level. Yeah, so I've been talking to Coach Burke since – Early June, I think we started talking recruiting wise and, um, you know, I always knew of her as a player, but never a coach and just seeing that she has this like winner and competitive mindset, you know, we kind of have similar attributes like that. So, you know, talking to her, there was this immediate connection and obviously being from the same area, there's just, she knows about the horrible winters we have and just everything, everything in the leagues and everybody we're playing. So basketball family there, uh, athletic family. Uh, talk a little bit about, uh, you could have some of that, uh, that skill set, but then you got to work at it. Talk about your work ethic and what has kind of separated you from some other players and the ability to head to a Division One school. You know, just always being the first one in the gym and then being the last to leave. And I think I put a ton of pressure on myself to get better. So just always, and I know, I know all of my weaknesses and I really go hard at my weaknesses every single day to make them my strengths. But it's just every day in repetition and just getting shots up every day and ball handling and just doing the little things that, you know, other players might not be doing. An incredible season at Scranton Prep this past year. Unfortunately for everybody, uh, the season didn't uh, end uh, with a championship, but boy, it probably it felt pretty good because you went undefeated. It was a fantastic year at Scranton Prep, and uh, nobody was able to beat uh, you and your teammates. Talk about that run. It was a great run. You know, we were playing our best basketball together towards the end. You know, we were playing together. We were ready. We were confident. We were going to play a really good team, Bethlehem Catholic, who was also undefeated. And, you know, in my mind, I feel we would have won a state championship. But, you know, so it stings right now that – just not knowing the feeling that feeling hurts but i think that we're all we have all of our starters coming back so we're all hungry for next season you're pretty fortunate to be able to play basketball over the summer uh, mm-hmm. didn't matter you know some sports didn't really get much action but you saw maybe some baseball travel or softball travel or some travel basketball were able to play and luckily for everybody it seems just you know Everybody's been pretty healthy and made it through. Talk about uh, what that's been like, uh, still ongoing, right? Yeah, so it was very nerve-wracking um, back in June, just not knowing if we were going to play. Um, you know, recruiting-wise, I knew I needed this AU season. Um, but now that we're back in action and playing, like everything really worked out for the best. And we're playing. I love my AU team. And just thinking, you know, I've been playing AAU since fourth grade. So this is, you know, I wanted that this last season just just for closure. You got some uh, great teammates at Scranton Prep. You got some incredible teammates on your travel team. Yeah. <laughs> Talk a little bit about some of those friends that you have and, and teammates that you enjoy playing with. Yeah, so at Prep, um, obviously Cecilia Collins, we've been playing together since kindergarten. I don't remember not playing with her. Um, so, you know, we just have this chemistry on and off the court that is just, it's really good. And, um, you know, now we're playing with some other girls in travel, like Mariah Murray and Sierra Toomey from Dunmore. And usually we're against each other and now we're playing together and we're playing, we're playing even better. And then Claire Marion from Abington Heights, you know, we're just a really tight team and we're all rooting and supporting for each other. I know your family means so much to you. Um, talk a little bit about them and, and the daily grind and, and, you know, taking your places back in the day and all that stuff. And mm-hmm. I'm sure you're kind of getting to the point where, okay, now I'm able to drive and do different things here as you head into your, your senior year. But um, talk about that support system that you're so fortunate to have. 
I am so lucky and so fortunate to have the family that I do. You know, they take me, they want the best for me and they take me to every single tournament every weekend. You know, they give up their summers so that I can play basketball. And then my siblings, you know, they're pushing me in the back and they're harder on me than some of my coaches are on me. They let me know when something's wrong. But, um, you know, so I'm just very fortunate to have the family I have. We could see that uh, you got some 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 wear there behind you with some words, yeah. and some pictures, some yeah. motivation, uh, yeah. and and you're obviously looks like you're in your your little basketball practice stuff. So you're going at it. You're still hungry. You made a commitment, but um, you're going to keep punching that clock. Talk about uh, just being that hungry and knowing, that, hey, uh, there's still a lot of work to do. Yeah, there's so, like, I want to make a difference at um, the Upstate program and I want to, you know, hopefully get playing time as a freshman and earn earn some minutes. But, um, you know, so I just have to keep getting better. I have to get stronger every single day, um, get bigger and just keep playing my game. But honestly, I have to get better in every aspect of the game. College is just, it gets faster and the kids are stronger. So I got to get better too. Uh, I think uh, we could say, hey, we we think girls are probably a little bit more mature than guys. So, you know, sometimes when you're a student athlete, you draw that little circle and say, okay, I want to be a couple hours for home for you. Um, your circle is a little bigger than most people. Talk a little bit about the ability to, to travel much further and, and say, Hey, I'm going to give this a shot. I know it's a little further from home, but I'm going to try it. Yeah. So my parents were both a little nervous about me going that far, but, um, and honestly, I was a little nervous at first, but, I think the connection I had with Coach Burke just made it feel like so much better going there and just really thinking I can make a difference. And she, she took a chance on me when nobody else when nobody else would. So, you know, it just means so much more. How about academically? Let's talk about uh, some of the things you're engaged with there at Scranton Prep and what you're thinking about for your future. Yeah, so both my parents are really hard on me academically too. Um, so, you know, I just want to go to a school where I didn't want to go to a super big school. I wanted to go to a school where there's like 25, 30 kids in my class. So Upstate is a school like that. And I'm thinking of going into, they have a physical therapy program. So I'm thinking of going into that and studying. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, I definitely want to challenge myself. And I think that's a good place to do it. Well, you got your act together. Uh, Rachel, <laughs> congratulations uh, academically, athletically, all the great things that you have done. And still, there's a, a great road ahead of you. I know Coach Bob Bavilia thinks the world of you. And uh, keep working hard, all right? All right. Thank you so much.